Dodgers Yankees series we just witnessed last weekend is going to be the matchup in the World Series. What would you say to that? Yeah, I think you have to figure out. I have to call Robbie Thompson with the Phillies and go, they won't like that with their three starters, Ranger Suarez being unbelievable. Uh, it's a very, very good call. That series is very, very good watching these teams. I think you're on to something. I think you're on to something. But the Phillies, if they stay healthy, that staff, with Wheeler and Nola and Ranger Suarez, they are tough. They're scrappy. And then you obviously got Bryce Harper in the postseason. Yeah. And so what about the American League? Do you think were the Orioles would be the ones to be raising their hand to crash the They're They're only one loss behind the Yankees right now. The yeah, Orioles. they are a good ball club. And they're not fake good. They're not this young you know, group. They are a team that plays very veteran-like. Because their young players are ball players, and you don't see a whole lot of antics. Brandon Hyde's done an unbelievable job of creating this makeup, and they got studs. So they're a team that's going to be right there all year. The Yankees have been unbelievable. I mean, with Soto in that lineup, it's amazing the length that you generate, and then you add to that with Judge, who didn't get a hit his first month and was getting booed at Yankee Stadium, to now looking like as close as I said yesterday to Barry Bonds. I mean, he is on breaking balls, fastballs, ninety-seven hanging sliders, and it's not that easy, but it slows down for him when he is this hot. It's been remarkable to watch, and obviously his 24 home runs leading the big leagues and just a, just a specimen. He really is a great hitter. But, I mean, Soto is truly remarkable. You know what it's like to have to perform when it's expected for you to perform in the Northeast. You know what that's like. You know what it's like when you're young and making all this cash – and you're going to want a, a mint as well, and you show up somewhere. The way that he came out of the gate, certainly when Judge was struggling, and so was Stanton. So for him to be there in the two-hole, and, and Volpe obviously sitting there at the top of the lineup after a great rookie season, I would say, a, a good rookie season to, to now a great second season right now, him batting behind Volpe and in front of Judge – and then is it sort of extends the line at where Verdugo can hit fifth. It, it just uh, there there I, I run out of superlatives to describe what he means for the Yankees. It's, yeah, because you you look at they've been right-handed dominant, you know, in that stadium. If you can add some lefties, they went out and got Anthony Rizzo, and that filled a little bit of a gap. But now with Verdugo and Soto, the balance, and when they're healthy. LeMayhew's back now. I mean, they are a tough lineup, but we've never had a chance to see Stanton and Judge in this line this long, you know, and Soto, the addition. You see the length that you can bring to a couple lefties because now the matchups are tough, right? And now you got a ballpark, right field fence is, you know, 310, but Judge can go foul pole to foul pole. Stanton goes foul pole to foul pole, and they're monsters to pitch to. So they have, and let's, let's talk about Benji Hill for a second. I was joking around saying, where does Garrett Cole come back in this rotation? You know, as a joke, because Benji Hill, this guy was pitcher of the month last month, and it was almost unhittable till the other night. Mookie Betts got a double off him on a hanging breaking ball or fastball that he kind of left up. But the kid's been remarkable, and I love guys taking advantage of opportunities, and he's done a remarkable job to maintain in that rotation. Well, you mentioned uh, Rizzo. He just, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm – genuinely concerned that the narrative for him at the end of the day is going to be he was never the same after getting hit in the head on that freak uh, moment where Fernando Tatis Jr. is going back to first base and he's trying to tag him and, and his head gets hit. He just doesn't strike me as the same player anymore, Kevin. He just doesn't. Yeah, he's been a tick off. He still has power. He still has home run power. Uh, he's a guy that can get going and maybe, you know, like this game at times you have the first half, second half, you have this and that, and you find your way. But he's a veteran. He's going to give you a tough at bat. He plays great defense at first base, you know, and he's not doesn't have to hit third for you. You can you can put him wherever you need to be. But I still I still like his presence in that lineup. Catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, twelve to three Eastern for free. 